When all kids sleep soundly. When the bright moon and thousands of tiny stars appear in the sky. I stretch forward my paws, yawn quietly, and open my eyes. I am a cat who enjoys sleeping during the day, and I hate sleeping at night. All cats guard the house at night while their masters are sleeping. Wait, I'm getting on my paws. The house is fabulously silent and dark at night. But I can see very well in the dark. My eyes are made for this. I can see you dreaming sweetly in your bed. All people need good sleep. It helps to recover the energy used during the day. Small kids are so lively. You can't sit still for a minute. That's why kids should follow a sleep schedule. Let's find out what is happening in your bedroom at night. Everything looks different in the dark. For example, a wardrobe looks like an elephant. You must know this animal. An elephant is very big and has a long trunk. And a chair looks like a dwarf. Dwarves live in the fairy tales. They are small and very funny. At night, in the dark, you can imagine a lot of interesting things. You just need to use your imagination. Well, what else can we see here? I've got it. Your bed looks like a boat. Imagine that you are going by boat on the high waves to the land of bright dreams. There, incredible adventures and unforgettable experiences are expecting you. Full speed ahead! But there is a barrier in the way that we didn't expect to see. There are some of your toys on the floor. It's not right to leave toys unattended. They may just run away from you. I am going to play carefully with a red cube. May I? And I'll try to put it back into your toy box. Like this. All toys should be in their places. Please don't forget it. I'm moving quietly around the room. I have soft pads on my paws. Therefore, you can't hear my steps. I am a cat who doesn't sleep at night. By the way, you can just call me Cat. It's my true name. 
I wonder what's happening in the street. Last night, I couldn't see anything in the window because of the thick fog. I'll jump on the windowsill and check it out. Cats are very good at jumping on various objects. One. I am already on the chair. Two. And now I am sitting on the windowsill. You see, it is very simple. Imagine. Once I even got to the top of the wardrobe. It was a very courageous act, and an inconsiderate one. After my jump, the chair fell on the floor. I didn't know what to do. I didn't have the slightest idea of how to get to the floor. It was a piece of luck that one of the shelves in the wardrobe opened accidentally, so I could jump down on it. I was very frightened that day. What a beautiful moon! I love watching the night sky out of the window in your room. How many stars do you think there are in the sky? Let's try to count them. Five, ten, twenty. There are so many of them I've lost count. I'll try again. Ten. Thirty. Look, a falling star has disappeared over the neighboring house. People say that you should close your eyes at that moment and make a wish. If your wish is sincere and kind, it is sure to come true. I'll try it now. I always want to see a smile on your face. Believe me, I enjoy hearing you laugh. Let this be my kind wish. I am sure that it will come true. Maybe you will close your eyes just now and try to make a wish too. But don't peek. I wonder, what are you thinking about? Maybe you want to have a lot of tasty candies. I have seen that you have a sweet tooth. Or maybe you are dreaming of a new toy. But remember that the wish should be kind. Then it is sure to come true. I see your favorite yard outside the window. It is very calm and quiet outside. There are no cars on the road. And moths are flying to the street lights. I think I can see somebody else in the tree. A strange bird with big eyes is sitting on a branch. I think it's an owl. We have been friends with an owl for a long time. She is very clever, enjoys traveling, and always tells me interesting stories. 
Hello, owl. It is a pity, but she can't hear me. I have to go outside immediately and greet her. I'll try to open the window with my paw. One. It doesn't work. Two. The window seems to open a little. My nose and ears are outside already. Paws and tail too. I did it! I am already on the grass under the window. The tree is not far from here. I'll go straight across the playground. The neighbor's cat doesn't sleep either. He is sitting on the window sill and watching the stars. He might be dreaming about a jar of tasty cream. I don't know a cat who doesn't love cream. He came to our city two weeks ago. I haven't met him yet. I think I hear some rustling around the corner. My whiskers help to detect the smallest movements at a distance of many meters. Most likely it's a mouse. Mice often go through rubbish bins in search of food. I'll try to sneak up on it. We cats are excellent hunters. In this case, the best thing to do is to hug the ground with your whole body. Also, you should set your ears back and move towards the victim very slowly. You should focus your attention on the goal. I am almost there. A jump. Where has it gone? That time the mouse was smarter than me. It ran away and left only a small uneaten piece of cheese. But that's okay. I'll certainly catch it next time. And now it's better for me to hurry up to the owl before she has flown away. We should cross the road very carefully. First look to the left. Then look to the right. If there are no cars, you may cross the road. Check the road at any time of day, even at night. I've learned that from people. I'm walking past the sandbox where you like to play. Children always leave their toys there. You can always find small spatulas, buckets, and toy cars there. There is your favorite swing near the sandbox. You love swinging on it, and you are very good at that. And there is a high slide on the right. You can climb the stairs or use a rope to get to the top. It is night now so the playground is empty. But it will be different tomorrow because children will run there to play. Then the playground will be full of children's laughter. Looks like it's going to rain. 
To be honest, cats are very much afraid of water. I have to hide somewhere just now. My paws are already wet. I think I will be comfortable and dry here. There is enough space for a hundred wet cats. I'll stay here for some time and then go on with my trip. The grass will be even greener after the rain, and the trees will be higher. I love lying on the soft grass and dreaming. Besides, I can run after bright butterflies or catch crafty flies. It is so good to be a cat. I wonder if the owl sheltered from the rain under the branch or flew away anywhere. Actually, she lives in the forest and flies to your house very seldom. Wild animals are afraid of people and try to keep out of their sight if it is possible. The rain seems to stop and I can go. It left a lot of big puddles on the ground. I know that you love running in them with rain boots on your feet. And you love falling down into the puddles. I sometimes watch you playing through the window. I have to go. I am almost near the tree. After the rain, it smells very tasty like fresh leaves. Now I need to gain speed and quickly climb up the trunk. First I climb a branch. Here a bug is hiding under the leaves. Then another branch. A pigeon and a sparrow are sitting here. The tree is so high and the owl likes sitting on its top. Another jump. Another one. One branch is left. A jump. I think I did it. I need to catch my breath. Hello, Owl. The Owl turned her head slowly and said hello. Then she slowly turned her head back. The Owl asked me to sit next to her and keep silent. She likes watching the night sky from the top of the tree. And I will sit down next to the owl and watch the sky too. The moon is very beautiful tonight and there are a lot of stars. Let's dream together. Close your eyes tightly and don't be afraid. Your parents love you. Your friends love you too. The sun will always light your path. Your life will be a success. And now, go to sleep.